The James Webb Space Telescope has just changed everything we thought we knew about the universe. From galaxies older than time itself to mysterious planets that could host life, Webb is revealing secrets hidden for billions of years. Prepare to have your mind blown, because what we're about to show you redefines our place in the cosmos. First, let's talk about time itself. Scientists long believed that the first galaxies took a while to get going after the Big Bang. But then, Webb took a look. What it found sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. We're looking at images of galaxies that formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. To put that into perspective, if the universe's entire 13.8 billion year history were a single calendar year, these galaxies showed up in the first week of January. According to our old models, that's impossible. They are too massive, too bright, and too well-formed to exist so early. It's like finding a fully grown oak tree just a day after planting a seed. These impossible galaxies are forcing astronomers to ask a radical question. Is our understanding of the Big Bang, the very foundation of modern cosmology, completely wrong? Are we missing a fundamental piece of the cosmic puzzle? Webb didn't just find a needle in a haystack. It found something that suggests the haystack itself is made of something else entirely. And if rewriting the beginning of time wasn't enough, Webb then turned its golden eye to worlds beyond our solar system. For decades, finding exoplanets was like spotting faint shadows crossing distant stars. We knew they were there, but we couldn't get a good look. Webb changed the game. It's not just finding planets, it's analyzing their atmospheres. Imagine being able to tell what the air is like on a planet hundreds of light years away. That's what Webb is doing, and what it's finding is staggering. On a super Earth named 55 Cancri E, it detected an atmosphere, possibly rich in carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide. This diamond planet is so hot its surface could be molten lava, but the fact that it has a substantial atmosphere at all is a huge discovery. But the real showstopper is a planet called K218b. It's about 120 light years away, a Hyshan world, bigger than Earth with a hydrogen rich atmosphere and potentially a vast, globe spanning ocean of liquid water beneath its clouds. This is where it gets truly exciting. Webb detected not only carbon dioxide and methane in its atmosphere, but also a molecule called dimethyl sulfide. On Earth, dimethyl sulfide is produced almost exclusively by life, specifically phytoplankton in our oceans. Finding it on K218b is not definitive proof of alien life, let me be clear on that, but it is the most tantalizing hint we have ever found. It suggests that the chemical building blocks and conditions we associate with life might be present on this distant water world. We are no longer just asking, are we alone? We are now gathering the first real data that could one day answer that question. From the edge of time and distant worlds, Webb then journeyed to the cosmic nurseries where stars are born. For ages, these stellar nurseries were shrouded in thick clouds of gas and dust impenetrable to telescopes like Hubble. But Webb sees an infrared light, allowing it to peer through the dust like an X-ray, revealing the secrets within. One of its most iconic images is a fresh look at the Pillars of Creation. Where Hubble saw majestic, shadowy columns, Webb sees through them to reveal hundreds of newly formed glowing red stars, like embers in a cosmic fire. We can see jets of material being blasted out from these baby stars as they ignite for the first time. We are literally watching solar systems being born. It's a breathtaking, dynamic process, showing us that the universe isn't a static, ancient photograph. It's a living, breathing entity, constantly creating and forging new suns and new worlds right before our very eyes. It's like having a front-row seat to the genesis of our own solar system. 4.6 billion years ago. But with creation also comes destruction, and the universe has no greater monsters than supermassive black holes. These are gravitational behemoths, millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun lurking at the center of nearly every galaxy, including our own Milky Way. 
A long-standing mystery is how they got so big, so fast. Like the ancient galaxies, some of the earliest supermassive black holes Webb has found are far too large for their age. According to our theories, a black hole grows by consuming stars and gas, a process that takes time. Yet these ancient monsters seem to have skipped their awkward teenage years and jumped straight to being cosmic giants. How? Webb's observations are fueling wild new theories. Perhaps the very first stars were not like our sun, but ultra-massive giants that collapsed directly into huge black holes. Or maybe, just maybe, there are rules of physics we have yet to discover, shortcuts in the cosmic rulebook that allow for rapid, monstrous growth. By studying these ancient black holes, Webb isn't just learning about galaxies. It's testing the absolute limits of our knowledge of gravity and the fabric of space-time itself. Every single image the James Webb Space Telescope sends back is more than just a pretty picture. It's a page in a new textbook of the cosmos, one that is being written and rewritten in real time. We've seen the impossible dawn of galaxies, sniffed the air of potentially life-bearing worlds, witnessed the birth of stars, and stared into the abyss of the universe's oldest monsters. And this is all from just its first couple of years of operation. We are standing at the beginning of a new golden age of discovery. The questions Webb is raising are more profound than the ones it's answering, pushing us further into the beautiful, terrifying, and awe-inspiring mystery of the universe. If this is what we've learned already, what will we uncover tomorrow? A new form of matter? The first direct signs of life? Answers to questions we haven't even thought to ask yet. The universe is just getting started. And thanks to Webb, we're all along for the ride. Thank you so much for joining us on this cosmic journey. If you love space mysteries and want to stay on the cutting edge of discovery, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. The universe has more secrets to share, and we'll be here to explore them with you. Until next time, keep looking up.